Hi everyone. So I am going to do a paint and sell is what I'm going to call it. It's me painting while doing a story time for you all. I'm hoping that this will be something that I can do pretty often because I have a lot of stories and I think that they're pretty interesting. Here is a preview of what I'm going to be doing. I coated this with white acrylic just so the other paint will stick better to it. And this is the subject I'll be working on. If you don't know what it is, wait till you see what it is. <laughs> Getting right into the story. I used to be a part of this forum website that you would create your little character on and you could dress this character with really cool items. In order to get those items, it was a lot of gold, which is what you made on this site. There's not actual money involved uh, until later on when they made gift cards that you could get. But before that, you had to figure out how to make gold on this website and make enough to get the better items. And this was my character at one point in time. He's pretty cool. Just those items by themselves were really expensive. Um, I ended up making a page where you could do art for people and it was a lot of fun. You, you could meet a lot of people on, on this site, honestly, uh, from all over the world. It was not... It was still a time where you, you didn't want to meet people that you met, like, you know, a day after meeting them. It, it wasn't hard to get to know people, and it wasn't uncommon to make, you know, good friendships. I had a lot of really good, lasting friendships from this forum site. People that I still talk to to this day that are really cool. And based on my character, I'm sure that if you've been on it, uh, you know which one I'm talking about because it's the only one that has the characters that look like that, that I know of anyway. I'm gonna give this a nice dark background. Line it up a little bit, just a little bit. So, one day I made a page where uh, I could do art for people to make more gold so that I could get better items and people could get art. And it was a lot of fun. It wasn't just any art. You actually would draw their characters for them that they made with their gold. And um, you know, it, it, it was really creative and it was, it was pretty sweet. So one day I met this person that was from France and Canada. He traveled between the two a lot. Oddly enough, only spoke English that I knew of. Um, but she wanted to buy my art a lot more times than just once. So somehow we just became friends and we would private message each other back and forth, um, just kind of discussing things about our lives and stuff. It was never anything that I gave away personal information, but it was just like, you know, the, the weather's cool today or it's not, or this was like over in France or this was like in America. It was just basic general stuff, talking about art. They really liked my art a lot and would honestly uh, buy it a lot of the time. So I made a decent amount of gold doing this little shop and this person in particular honestly spent a lot. <laughs> so one day she is telling me about how she's in France and she's at the Eiffel Tower and is just hanging out but she has these cousins that are evil and treat her like garbage are really dangerous for her to be around and at first I just thought okay hopefully you're not gonna be around them and you won't have to worry about them because I mean this person had to be wealthy to just be going back and forth between France and Canada as much as she did. I really didn't put much thought into it. One day, the word catfish was not around at the time. Uh, that came a few years later and I was absolutely baffled when I heard it and I heard what it meant. 
Um, and this was not necessarily a catfish for me, but is the closest word that I could think of for this person and what what they did. <laughs> so getting to know them, the story started to get just a little bit wonky and didn't really make much sense. There was a lot of things that just didn't add up most of the time, but still, I thought nothing of it. I was very nonchalant on this site and um, I just I just went with the flow of things. I never questioned too much. I never really, you know, confronted anybody about weird things that they would say. I just, I would just, whatever, you know, I'm there to do the art and to make the gold and to make my character look really cool, <laughs> get the better items and then, you know, just do my own thing. <laughs> but this person just, kept pressing the envelope with some strange stories and so one day she's at the Eiffel Tower I think this is probably the first time things got really odd um, she's at the Eiffel Tower and is with the cousins I guess and the cousins are they're just antagonizing her really badly saying mean things and, and all this stuff but what was interesting about that was they would come to the keyboard and type and then she would type and then they would type or she'd have these friends that would come to the keyboard and type and then she would come back and type or she had just random people uh, come and type and again I didn't care I didn't think anything of it I just I went with the flow and I was like okay cool. <laughs> so one day back at the Eiffel Tower. One day at the Eiffel Tower, uh, she's with these two cousins that are evil. And like I said, uh, she would have them come to the keyboard or they would just come on their own and they would say just mean things and uh, be giving her a hard time. And so I really didn't know necessarily what to say or what to do. Uh, not that I could do anything or say anything much, but uh, this went on for, for a little bit and then she would be back safe at home or whatever and they would no longer be giving her a hard time. So, like, well, cool. I'm glad they're not harassing you anymore and maybe just stay far away from them. And so that's what she would do for a period of time come back and then you know order more art and we talk art and just regular stuff again so it was never really things would happen and then they would not happen anymore that were very odd and i was super young at the time i was you know in my 20s my young 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 20s <laughs> um things were just a little different back then well, one night, I'm just sitting there on my computer, and I'm back on, on there. She was not the only person that I uh, would talk to on there and, and, you know, had friends with and whatnot. Uh, she was just one of the many, and it just it intrigues me how much this story has impacted my life in such a funny way. <laughs> just, you know, just this five seconds of fame that this person got <laughs> but um, one night I'm there and next thing I know she's messaging me and saying that her cousins are in her house and have duct taped her to her chair and they are doing just things to torture her and you know it's back and forth between her being on the keyboard and them being on the keyboard uh, typing to me and saying things and just it was crazy <laughs> so it was supposed to be some type of kidnapping situation I, I, I honestly I had no idea I just I went along as best as I could and was like oh no <laughs> this is bad and um, she would type things like oh no they got me or I'm screaming or ah <laughs> And they would come on and be like, ha, 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 we got her, and she's kidnapped, and, and you know, it was just really corny. It's very corny the way that this was happening. 
So, um, long story short with that, it went on for about 20 minutes, I have to say. I don't know why I stayed on there and did, <laughs> I don't know why I did half the things I did. But anyway, I don't know why I stayed on there for 20, min 20 minutes of this happening. But, I did. It's going on and going on and going on, and then all of a sudden, the police arrive, and they untape her, and they take the two people to jail, and she comes back to the keyboard, and is all, oh, I'm so glad I'm safe now, and they're going to jail, and just give me the play-by-play. -play. The whole thing was a play-by-play. -play. I don't know how somebody achieves that when they're duct taped to a chair, and I, just the whole thing was just corny. So, the police are still there, and I'm just on this instant messenger, and she says, Hey, the police want to talk to you about what happened. <laughs> so I'm baffled, and I'm like, I, I don't even know at this point. Police want to talk to me, and I, I don't know, I, I was entertained enough, I guess, where that I said, sure. Why not? Why not just aid and embed in this delinquency? <laughs> uh, they come to the computer and they're asking me questions and I'm getting this, you know, just questions and questions and questions, just things like, where were you at the time of, of this incident that occurred and what were you doing while it was happening and who else was with you and just really just things that didn't make any sense I, I i just couldn't see this happening in real life <laughs> but i obliged anyway and i was like i was here at my computer i'm by myself and the recount of the events i mean you can look back at the messaging thing because it's all still there <laughs> they're like okay thank you sir for your time and they leave so they're gone they left um, and things are just peachy keen again. They're back to normal. And um, things were pretty normal for another while. I mean, I hadn't heard from this person. I It was never somebody that I would seek to talk to on there. It's just somebody that would come back and would order art and would want to tell me more about her life and just what was going on. And things started to get... You know, I thought they were interesting before. Things got even more interesting. <laughs> it's just, it's great. So, what ended up happening was she got this boyfriend, I guess, and that was a new thing. I thought, cool, now, now you can, you know, deal with telling him all this crazy stuff and I can just focus on the art focus on what I'm trying to do on this site, you know, because there, there was a lot of things that I would do. There was a lot of uh, forums I was a part of. There were role plays that were really cool based on video games I would play and based on shows I would watch, you know, at the time it was like Teen Titans and just really cool things like that. It was almost like I was able to make comic books on these uh, role plays with words and everybody had their own character and we're just creating these really cool scenarios and it was a fun time. She now has a boyfriend and he's pretty cool and everything's good and one day she wanted to show me a photo of her and it turned out that she, she was gonna have a baby and that was cool. And I don't remember why she wanted to show me this photo, but uh, she did. So, at the time, there was this popular show called Smallville. And it was definitely one that I, I was I was very interested in watching, and I liked it a lot. Um, I didn't watch it as much as I did later on, uh, you know, years later. But I watched enough to know what was going on on the show. And at the time, there was a character named Lana, and she was pregnant with Lex Luthor's baby. And she ended up, they, they did a whole entire promo of her having, you know, the, the stomach bump and just everything, you know, that goes along with that. And uh, so this person 
sends me a photo of this character from Smallville one of these promo photos and claims that it's her so she's Kristen Crook with a fake pregnant stomach and I lost it I was like I I just don't think that's you um, so I, I just begged I was like um, can you can you tell me that's not for real like can you tell me I know that person that person is from a show that I watch and she's like oh what show and uh, I said well it, it's Smallville and that's Kristen Crook uh, so are you sure that that picture is yours and she, so she's like yeah 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 that's me that's me I can I promise I guarantee I just took it so uh, you know no questions asked after that because I just knew something's off here and I'm just not gonna press this is fine so she sends me another photo and this other photo is another promo photo of Chris and Crook with a baby bump and she's wearing something else and she's you know just in another place doing something else and so I said again yep that's still Chris and Crook uh, but whatever you know that's that's where we're at in life cool and I'm that's whatever <laughs> slowly over time I noticed that this person yes I'm still just along for this ride because why not at this point uh, this person is is now anything that happens in the show to this character is happening to this person in real life every photo that happens from these scenes that are on the show every just every single thing that's happening to this character is happening to this person between France and Canada and with some other random people that you know those photos were probably taken from promos of other people as well and um and I just I, I I'm still you know every now and then I would mention hey that happened on the show that's really interesting that it also happened to you <laughs> just at this same time just, that's just interesting so long story short uh, it gets to a part in this season where there has to be a cliffhanger and it's gonna make you want to come back and watch you know the the season that picks up afterwards so this season is ending the next season is going to be, you know, something that you've got to come back and you got to see what happened. This character, Lana, she had gotten herself in a bit of a rut. And she's still pregnant. And she gets into a truck to drive far, far, far away. What ends up happening is this huge semi comes along and crashes right into her. And so... They leave you on this side note saying, oh, she died, and it's over. <laughs> Guess what kind of message I get next. <laughs> you guessed it. One of this person's friends gets onto the account and claims to be the friend and says, oh, did you hear about what happened to this person that you've been talking to? And I'm like, no, I didn't. <laughs> based on what I've known so far of what this person has been telling me what they've been doing just this whole entire train wreck I should say that I've been on following around uh, this person's life not only like through this instant messenger but also through just watching Smallville <laughs> I could guess and I really didn't want to say it and so the friend was like, oh, she ended up in this huge truck accident and a semi hit her and she died. It's not funny, I promise. But I didn't know what to think because up until this point, um, everything that's happened to this character has happened to this person. I gave them my condolences. And... Um, you know, I wished, I wished the friend well, and I said, you know, I'm so sorry about all of this. Uh, it's pretty terrible. And I never heard from this account again. 
the account was deactivated and it was it was it was like this person never existed anymore at this point it was very strange you know obviously it, it wasn't an actual catfish it was it was very interesting for sure i don't really know what to call it if you have an idea of a name i could call this please let me know um but it was it was very strange and i you know i like i said i've never heard from this account again this happened in like 2008 2009 uh, possibly even before that actually i don't really know but it was way back then and um, it's it stuck with me all this time i I've, I count it as a very funny story. I don't know if this person was just messing with me the whole time or if they were just kind of a little bit, you know, just not not mentally sound. Uh, I really don't know. But I do hope that they have... I, I hope that it was a joke. I hope that they're doing okay. I hope that... Um, they stopped treating people like that because, you know, it's not very nice to die on somebody in that way. <laughs> if if that's if it was a joke, um, so please don't take this wrong. So I really hope that you like this story time with a little bit of painting. It's a lot of fun. I, I had fun doing this. If you'd like me to do it again, your comments would be greatly appreciated. Here's my cat on the plate gonna have to put the put a nice shimmer on this after it's all done drying I wanted to do this for a very long time and thank you for the opportunity of doing this this is cool I will have to get to the drawing board on what story I would do next but if you like the story give this a like and let me know what you think if you have a similar experience Please let me know, I'd love to hear it, because it's just, some things you just, there's just no dull moment, and you just, it's priceless, so, yeah, with no further ado, thank y'all for listening, ta-da, ta-da.